perfect. Hey baddies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another quick review for you guys and no install this time because it wasn't really much to do with this wig. I usually like to film install videos when I'm doing like a certain style like a half up half down type style or something like that just because it's like it it gets repetitive when you to me at least it gets repetitive when you film the same type of install over and over again so let's just get into it so this wig is from the Outre perfect hairline collection it is in the style Freya and I have her in the color DRFF6 slash honey over chocolate now I ain't gonna hold you when I first took this wig out the pack and I saw the color I was like I'm sending this wig back like there's no, there's no way no way <laughs> that this is the same color that is on the stock card this is what it shows on the stock card so for me I thought that I was getting not necessarily like a 613, but some type of ash type blonde at the top with the chocolate underneath. Now, I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but the wig is, I don't, I don't understand how they came up with this color concept because it's, you know, you see the dark roots, then it's kind of like, it ombres into like a 613 and then it kind of ombres again into like a 27 and then the brown is at the bottom so it's not necessarily that i don't like the color it just does not come across like it does on the stock card so i was just like you know what let me just give this a try you know if you don't like it you don't like it but somebody will want to see this because i think this is like a newer wig i haven't seen too many reviews on this wig so i was just like you know what i know since this is like a new color i've never seen them do this color before somebody would want to know what this color looks like i did do a little bit of plucking on this wig it just i don't know what's up with outre like I feel like their melted hairline wigs have better hairlines than their perfect hairline. Like it's so weird. Like with my Harper wig, I didn't have, I never had to pluck that. But for some reason, this wig I had to pluck. The previous one that I did recently, I can't even remember, but I don't know. It just, it never gives me pre-pluck. So I did do plucking. You guys know I have a plucking video on my channel. It's probably from like a year ago or two years ago, but it's there. So you guys know with the perfect hairline, it is the 13 by six transparent lace. So you can part it wherever you want. Left side part, right side part, middle part. You guys know I don't really do middle parts unless I have to. And obviously I always do a left side part. Now, the wig is heat safe up to 400 degrees. I think that's pretty standard across the board for Outre wigs and it does have the length on here 22 inches. So yeah you guys know I love when they put the length of the wig on the stock card. Now although I was upset that the wig did not come in the color that I envisioned, I really do like this wig. Maybe even love, but I'm not sure. It, maybe if I wear it one more time, I could say I love it, but right now I really do like this wig. I absolutely love the fullness of the wig. It is not thin at all and it's not too full. It's like the perfect, perfect density. I love the curls. I love how they're like kind of like big and messy curls like you guys know I don't like when them curls be too tight all I really did was like finger comb finger comb through the wig and stuff and that was pretty much it I do love the chocolate at the bottom because I have never done a wig like this before so I'm loving it I do get shedding when I run my hands through it like I've been getting a few strands like every time I run my hands through it I'm not 100% sure if it's because I plucked the wig, but 
that's just something to be mindful of if shedding does bother you i'm sorry if i keep playing with this wig but yeah now the wig does fit pretty snug so all my fellow big head girls out there it's just something that you got to deal with like it went ear to ear so that's a plus but i feel it fitting snug and i did cut the elastic band out of it so i can't really say that that's making it you know fit any tighter but yeah that's normal so just something that i live with the only time that i really have a problem with it is when it's like way too small when i know it shouldn't be like that uh zayla wig that was ridiculous i will probably never put be able to put that wig on for any extended period of time i also wish it didn't have the dark roots as well because it's weird it's like dark light dark and then, you know, the chocolate. I don't know. I can't explain it. But it definitely does not look like the stock card. And that's a problem for me because that was the reason that I brought it. I purchased this wig on... I was about to say Sam's wig was not Sam. I purchased this wig on Eb Ebony Line. Yep, Ebony Line. I can't remember the pricing. I know it's in like the $50 range. But of course, I'm going to leave the link down below so you guys can check it out. Purchase it. Hopefully, it hasn't started selling out yet because like I said, this is a fairly new wig. I'm not sure if too many people know about it yet. But yes, please get your hand on it. If you get your hand on this color, please do. I'm obsessed with the curls. I'm obsessed with the curls. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it i don't think i'm forgetting anything if i am you guys can just ask yeah let me know what you guys think about this wig if you like this wig let me know if you have this wig um i know they have a few these what other colors do they have you know they got the they really have some other i would love to try this in the red velvet color that's one of my favorite 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 outre colors is that red velvet that was the first color that i tried i think the harper wig in before i tried the 613 and i loved it they have the maple brown on the stock card and they have the cajun spice everybody know what cajun spice look like but that is the desert maple brown for the brown my brown wig lovers i you like i told you guys and i've been telling you guys i'm not really into the dark wigs and right now and i probably won't be for a while i just feel like color pops on me so much more like i and it's crazy because if you guys go back like further down on my channel when i first started like i only did like number one wigs maybe one b like all my wigs had to be dark <laughs> and now it's like the complete opposite and especially where summer is coming up you will definitely not catch me wearing any dark colors yeah that's pretty much about it comment down below let me know what you guys think don't forget to like and most importantly subscribe join the baddie gang and yeah i will see you guys in my next video